What you're seeing now is the garrison of the Special Operations Command, or SOCOM. But they are not just ordinary men in uniform. Look closely at their badge, and you'll know these men would jump high and risk their lives for the country. The Special Forces Regiment Airborne is an elite Philippine Army unit established in the 1960s. Doctrinally, the Special Forces Regiment is the only airborne unit ng Philippine Army. So since Fort Magsaysay is the uh, uh, home base of the Special Forces Regiment, so dito na rin natin kinakandak yung uh, airborne training. It all started basically kay uh, then Captain Fidel Ramos, who was uh, one of the founding fathers of the Special Forces Regiment. Siya po yung isa sa mga nanguna at nagpanatili sa airborne operations. The unit was also trained by its foreign counterpart, U.S. Army Special Forces, or the Green Beret. Like the Scout Rangers, members of the Special Forces Regiment of the Philippine Army are also highly trained in the art of counterinsurgency operations. Aside from retributions, airborne troops also respond in rescue and relief operations. So disaster relief and rehabilitation operations, pag may bagyo na kailangan na mag-set ng drop zone or landing zone, usually dinadrop muna natin yung airborne troops natin to set up the said facility. Upon assignment to the special forces, soldiers are made to undergo the basic airborne course. Yung basic airborne course is a specialized training na nagkikater sa AFP-wide uh, personnel and PNP also. So basically, the, the Air Force, the Navy, and also the PNP is po pwede silang mag-join sa, sa basic airborne course. Actually, meron na rin mga foreign students tayo na nakikitrain din sa atin as part of the exchange training sa ibang bansa. Airborne trainees need to undergo three phases of special training before they could be allowed to soar high in the sky. First uh, phase would be the ground training. Ang, uh, ang purpose bakit meron tayong ground training is to execute the parachute landing fall. Then the second phase would be the canopy management. So basically the student would, uh, would know after the training kung paano mag-steer uh, ng parachute so that after exiting the aircraft, sa tamang landing zone siya papasok. The last phase would be the uh, towering phase na may, may, may makikita ninyo. Uh, that, portion, that, that particular portion of training, matuturuan yung estudyante natin how to properly exit the aircraft. So after the three phases of training, he would be, or the student would be uh, qualified enough to jump from an aircraft. It takes 45 days of serious training to become a certified airborne trooper. Bago ka maging tinatawag na airborne qualified, you have to undergo a uh, basic airborne course, which is basically a, a 45 days or a four weeks course na ang uh, training na ito is you will be trained how to the basics ng parachute landing fall, how to exit an aircraft, then the canopy management. And after which, you have to make five qualifying jumps. So after five qualifying jumps, you will be certified as airborne qualified. Ka na. Once they have accomplished the basic course, each member of the SF regiment may opt to undergo specialty courses. After mag uh, qualified na sila, they would opt to undergo the jump master course. Sila yung nagpapatalon sa paratroopers so that maglalan sila sa designated drop zones nila. Then after which, if they opt for a higher skill, so to speak, pwede silang mag-undergo ng military freefall uh, course. Dito naman sa military freefall course, ang pagkakaiba dito sa basic airborne course kasi static. Kung baga ikaw yung maglalagay ng static line mo, yung line, yung gihila ng uh, parachute mo. Sa MFF, lalabas ka ng parachute, ikaw yung gihila ng uh, parachute mo. So yung sa basic airborne Yung gamit nila doon is the T-10 and MC-1 parachutes. Sa MFF, they are using the MC-4 parachutes. So yung, M yung MC-4 kasi po pwede kang mag-land uh, kung saan mo talaga gusto in a point, pinpoint accuracy, so to speak. But what does it really take to be up in the sky? 
Find out when DSTV returns. Up next, watch the airborne troops fly away. The sky was clear. It was a perfect training day for the paratroopers. Our team was there to watch them train. The airborne troops were up early. Becoming a paratrooper is a unique experience requiring special dedication and a desire to be challenged mentally and physically. This 45-day course, also known as Basic Airborne Course, teaches soldiers the techniques involved in parachuting from airplanes and landing safely. First thing they have to do is master the art of falling. They start the jump from two feet, then four feet. The purpose of the BAC is to qualify soldiers in the use of the parachute as a means of combat deployment and to develop leadership. Sa static kasi kahit anong position mo, bubuka at bubuka yung parachute mo kasi naka-static line siya. However, sa MFF, kailangan mag-acquire uh, ka ng uh, stable body position while you are free falling, so to speak. So, kung ma-achieve mo yung skill na yun, it is only such time na bubunot ka. Saka mo bubunotin yung uh, main suit mo. So, ang danger doon is kung hindi ka makapag-acquire ng stable body position, you will not be given or you will not be able to pull yung uh, suit mo. Uh, however, meron naman tayong safety mechanism din doon at uh, altitude of 1,500 feet kung hindi ka makabunot. Meron tayong tinatawag na AAD or yung automatic activation device. Kahit hindi ka makabunot, kusa siyang uh, mag activate para bumuka yung parachute mo. And kung wala ka pa sa 1,500 feet, pwede kang mag-cut away Yung tinatawag nila na cut away, tatanggalin mo yung main suit mo at i yung instead na yung main suit yung papabukas mo, yung reserve ngayon yung ipapabukas mo. Self-confidence and an aggressive spirit through mental and physical conditioning. Dito lang sa estudyante natin is wala lang silang combat equipment. Pag na-deploy na, yung sundalo natin is natuturuan paano mag-jump with the combat equipment, with firearms, with their, with their, uh, com with their CCIA, so to speak, or yung combat clothing and individual equipment. Safety first is a must. Every paratrooper should check his parachute. So ito yung MC-1-1B parachute uh, ginagamit sa a static airborne operation. The parachute is the lifesaver of every airborne troop. So one should always learn the proper way of packing this up. So pag nakalabas na lahat yung canopy at napasukan na ng hangin yung canopy, that's the time na mag a anchor siya sa hangin o yung pinaka-anchor niya, then magkakaroon na ng mabigat na tension tsaka magpuputol ngayon itong brake cord na naka-attach sa um, D-bag to the canopy. They even took our team for a ride on board the Huey UH-1 chopper. For training, usually ginagamit natin is yung uh, chopper, yung uh, UA choppers ng Philippine Air Force. But during the actual uh, operation, halimbawa meron tayong uh, cease and hold operations or yung uh, disaster uh, relief, uh, na kailangan merong airborne drop, usually C-130 yung kailangan natin gamitin for the reason na kailangan may combat equipment. Now, we come to the most exciting part, the free fall. The thrill and excitement is all up there. But despite everyday training, they admit they still need to intensify their skills. But with high hopes, courage, and relentless dedication, the airborne troops will soar high.